Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company, and if you have a fan like this that uses a remote, you definitely need one of these. These are light switch protectors that can actually cover the switch which supplies the power to your fan so that your remote works. And if you are like many of us, when you have one of these remotes and then someone ends up turning that switch off, then all of a sudden your remote doesn't work because there's no power to the fan. And this is one way that you can protect these light switches and keep people from messing with the power. Leave it on so that your remote always works. And then if you ever need to, you can still get in and switch it back. It's got a nice clean look. They're really easy to install. I'll put links for these in the description below and I'll show you how to install these and how they work. So these are just like what I said. They are light switch protectors. They make these for the toggle switches and they make them for these, the large square panel switches. They come with the extended screws to be able to install these. I bought this in a pack of eight. I believe you can get them in two, four, six, eight different packs. I'll put links for all those, but I'll show you how easy they go on. And then also a really good way to use them because in my case, I need two of these just for one fan because we have a three-way switch on the fan circuit and that can get really confusing on which one it is and which one needs to be left on. And so these are an easy way to designate it so no one messes with it rather than labeling them or taping them, I've seen people do. This is the way to go. I can't believe I just found out about these, but I wanna show you guys how cool they are and how easy they are to install. So we obviously have the fan light on now, the power's there. I just showed you the protector over there that has the light turned on. I can turn the light on and off with this remote. So I know the power's there, but we also have a switch right here behind this wall that controls it. So I need to put a protector on both of them. So I'll show you the installation of that one. One way I know that this works is I can test my switch. Obviously my light is off. And then if I go to turn that switch back on, I can get my light back on there. So I know that's the one that I need to cover. So we are going to go ahead and put a protector over this one. And that way no one messes with these and it will be all from the remote. No one will accidentally turn the power off. So this is the switch right here. Get yourself a flathead and just remove the two screws above and below that switch. These ones are a little bit shorter and the new ones come with a little bit longer ones to be able to hold the protector on properly. Then we can go ahead and put this protector on. Goes right back into the original holes. And that's how quick and easy it is. Another thing too, we'll zoom in here, is that if for some reason you do wanna get into this switch, you can slide this piece over, you can slide this little tab over, and it allows you to actually go inside here and turn the switch on or off. And that goes back on. So you never actually have to take this off. You can leave these on all the time. You can still get to the switches in case you wanna do any type of adjustments. And then you just saw how easily they went on. And that's basically it. I just wanted to show everybody this product because I just found out about them. And it's something that we probably all can relate to, especially if you have kids. One time recently, my son switched the remotes on us. I had to actually figure out which remote went where because he decided to just switch them one day. And it's because he thought his light wasn't working because he turned the switch off. And then when he went to go use the remote, it wasn't working. So, you know, he's smart. He said, oh, I could probably go try my sister's remote because that might work. And then when it didn't, he just put it back in his place and they were all mixed up. So this can prevent that from happening. Um, it is something I would use definitely with the kids' rooms because it's gonna keep them from messing with those light switches. And then also for anybody in the house, if they go to turn a light on, that cover is just like a little indicator of like, hey, don't mess with it. It takes a little bit of effort to change it. So that will stop them and then they'll know that there's a remote for it. So hopefully you found this helpful. And um, like I said, it's not so much the install, it's just the fact that this product exists. So if you want, there's links for them in the description. Like I said in the beginning, um, I have other videos about installing the fans, installing remotes, hanging TVs on the wall, um, everything. I'm also doing a casita build. We just got permits pulled. I'm gonna be showing everything from the ground up, putting the plumbing underneath the ground, running the electrical, the water, the foundation, all the way to framing and all the finished stuff inside. There's a couple bathrooms, there's gonna be a full kitchen. I'm gonna show all that on this channel and I'm gonna document the whole process. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe to my channel so you can follow along. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support 
Hit like for me and I'll see you guys on the next build.